Blog Talk Radio. What's up, guys? Thank you so much for tuning in to Real Talk, Real Plans with your girl, Riri, and Coco. And today we have a super special guest, one of my favorite people in the planning world. We have Nicole Meeks, who's also known as the Planner Guru. Hey, Nicole. Hey, (laughs) y'all. How you doing? We need a clapping sound. Right, we need an applause. Oh, you need you. Great. How y'all doing? Good. Good. How are you tonight? Great. What um what you do today? Girl, let me think. So I woke up, then <laughs> I um walked my dog, then we went to Ross and got some stuff for the house. Oh, and I got some new headphones, some new wireless headphones. They were cute. They're like a mm-hmm. mint green, like real spring. I'm I was just saying that. Really? Ooh, I'm toy. They come out like okay. a turquoise, but sometimes like mint green. It all kind of falls in that same family. Yes, yes, yes. I really like them. So I got that, and then we came home. Have some tacos, like like a group of style tacos, and then chilled. Really, folded some clothes, you know, wrote in my plan, <laughs> watched the movie. Oh, we did watch Soul Food though, because I had to braid my son's hair. I mean, twist my son's hair, so we watched Soul Food. So yeah, old school OG, Big Mama, that one. Yeah, yes, girl, real Soul yes. Food. <laughs> yes. <laughs> The one in the um, the one in the only. Yeah, my Hi, favorite part in that movie is the family fucked my husband. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I said, "Ooh, girl!" But it was just so good, you know. It was just I love that movie. I love that movie, and I love Big Mama. I gotta watch like, it again. I love her in real life. You know, she lived in Texas. I'm from Texas. I love her. <laughs> I think I love all Big Mamas. Yes, I know. But she did, she did. She did Big Mama's right. You know, in all her roles, she'd be so, you know, she'd be good. Yeah, because what, what she had in... Oh. oh, sorry, go ahead. No, I was just asking what part of Texas. Sorry, go ahead. Y'all still talking about the movie. Oh, what part of Texas? In my room? Mm-hmm. you So, like, Dallas-Fort Worth area? Okay. That's right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, from Arlington. Mm. I don't oh, think I've ever been to Arlington. Yeah, it's where the Cowboy Stadium is. They always say Dallas, but it's really our city. I just want to point Yeah, that's where Go Wild is. Yeah, I know. Isn't that exciting? Mm-hmm. Are you going to Go Wild? Mm-hmm. And I am. Oh! Yes. I'm so jealous. It was just so much fun last year, so it's like... I had to do it again, you know, like that. See, I'm so afraid that by the time I'm able to travel to a go wild, people are going to be over it and not want to go the year that I'm able to experience it. You know what I'm saying? And it's going to cost $3,000. I really feel like there's no such thing as that because the planner community is like – it's like forever. I don't know. Like, I mean, it may, it may be not for everybody, but for the ones it is, it is, you know. So I think Go Wild is always going to be amazing. And if you go, you're going to have fun. Like a real planner person, it's no way. Like you're going to have the best time ever, for real. Um, you know my mm-hmm. motto, I make the party. The party don't make me. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? But it's but I mean it's really like a really well planned event and it's literally just for planners. Like it's everything that we love, like in detail, like and everybody's there for the same thing. So it's just so it like I, I think whenever you're ready to go out, it's gonna be epic. Just like it was last you know what I'm saying? Just like that's all I'm saying. Everybody right. that goes most people have a good time. Less, you know, 
some people just ain't there for the right reasons, and I think that's when there's the problem. But a real planner person that's there because they're a real just want to be around planner friends and see planner stuff that hasn't came out yet or, you know, like, yeah, it's for that. Are you excited about seeing Martha Stewart? Girl, am I? <laughs> I love Martha Stewart. I have always loved, I mean, I'm not even going to flex. Like, when they was putting Martha in the, behind the bars, I was against it, okay? I felt like y'all really hating on her because she had connections, but, you know, whatever. All I'm saying is that I love Martha, so I'm very excited about it. Like, really, I've always, you know, been like a house kind of, you know, like a reorganization. I feel like as kids, we were always kind of those girls that just like reorganization and journaling, stickering, and stuff like that. So Martha's always been the one. Like, she's been, you know, the person. Listen, so, yeah, if Snoop Dogg pop up with Martha. You said what? <laughs> if Snoop Dogg pop up with Martha, I know y'all better get him a shout out just to be like, I just need him to say real talk, real plans one time. <laughs> Real puff, real plan. I just need him to say something. He can even say real talk with Riri. He can say Erica. He can say Regina. Whatever name he need to say. But if Snoop Dogg nope. <laughs> is there, I need y'all to hook me up. Anybody who's going to go out. I think he's going to be home with that his sick wife. <laughs> but I'm just excited to just, you know, see what she has to say just because she's literally like started from nothing like you know I'm saying as far as her brand like she started with books and stuff like that so I'm just interested to hear everything that she has to say and like how she branched out into doing so many different you know what I'm saying like so many different ways and stuff so I don't know what she's going to talk about but I can't wait to hear it here for it I am really interested to hear from her because I mean y'all listen to the show so y'all know my situation y'all know I'm on probation blah 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 and me and Martha kind of got that in common you know she went to jail I went to jail (laughs) he likes planning I like planning you know I just feel like I would be so motivated to see that there is life after fucking up. You know what I'm saying? Like, I guess I've just been in my feelings so much this weekend. Y'all don't judge me. I'm probably probably going to be a girl, you know, when having a girl, you know, that time of the month emotion kind of thing. But i just been in my feelings so much. So I think that if I saw her, I would be able to, you know, just get some kind of inspiration, some kind of hope, some kind of, you know, something to know that this ain't it. This ain't all. Like, you still got stuff to do. Right. Yeah. Because Martha is doing the damn thing. Yeah, she definitely is. Yeah. She ain't like, no stigmatism, no nothing hold her back. That's why I that's why I love Martha because she don't be waiting. She be like, uh huh, and she just do that little uh, Meryl Streep smile at them and keep it pushing onto her coins. Like she be like, baby, bye. <laughs> and I love it. <laughs> Monica says, uh, at Penny Pincher Planner says, I've seen Snoop a few times in Compton or LBC. You're more likely to see him in the hood than at Go Wild. <laughs> mm-hmm. Probably. Probably. Okay. Snoop said he'd be in the streets. Um, okay. So I always ask, what is in your cup? Now, I don't know if you, I know you. I know you like coffee, but you like iced coffee. I'm a hot coffee kind of girl. So tonight I have um, a hot coffee from my subscription. It is called um, Common Voice. It's a dark roast, a ter- they call it Terra. Um, all kind of notes of chocolate and I think toffee was in this one. Um, Coco, what you got in your cup? Water. Good old high quality H two O. H two O. That's okay. Right. Better be hydrated, boo. So, okay. Yeah. I just want to say, like, for the record, I'm definitely a hot coffeeer, but Are you? I do. Yes, baby, I do. I am. Like, I drink iced coffee mostly, like, on the go because it's really more mm-hmm. convenient. Like, 
steps are bigger, you know, last longer. But at, I mean, any given time, I would always prefer hot coffee. Anytime, hot. Oh. I don't care if it's hot. I want some hot coffee. Plain blank. So yeah, just for the record. But that just made me really happy. Hey, <laughs> friend. Um, but um, so in my cup right now today, I have a Reese's cup with some caramel drizzle and agave, and then oat milk and a medium roast. That just made my mouth water. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> I have a coffee cookbook on my um, planner, Her Universe page. If you're looking for some coffee recipes, English plug, go grab that coffee cookbook. I love Wait, coffee. Wait, you have a coffee cookbook? Where is it? Yeah, where um, is it? I have a planner coffee um, Instagram at Plan Her Universe. And there I share coffee videos um, and just kind of have morning, good morning tips um, on there. And so also on that page, I have a coffee cookbook for sale. So it's it's at the link. And it's also at the link um, on my Planner Guru page. It says coffee cookbook. If you click click the link under my YouTube, the coffee cookbook is there. Uh, ma'am, oh. I'm going right now. Plan Her Universe. I don't know why I didn't know that. Speaking of universe, uh, let me give her. Hey, you got a million followers. Girl, what? You got 1,500 <laughs> followers over there, too. Listen, I love oh, that for you. Coffee. Yeah, coffee's like my second love. It's like my grown up, you know, my grown up love. <laughs> um, so, but coffee I found as an adult. <laughs> okay. See, I've been drinking coffee since I was stealing it from my mama. Oh, okay, okay. My mama had me making coffee at eight years old, and I was like, Psh, if I'm going to make it, I'm going to drink it. <laughs> I know, and I've been drinking coffee so long, too, because back in New Orleans, you get you sat down and drank coffee with the old folks. <laughs> exactly. Oh my Speaking of New Orleans, y'all have this coffee called Cafe Co- Do Something. And Cafe girl, Dumont. It's coffee and chicory. Oh, yeah. and I love that, baby. That coffee with some amaretto, baby. Amaretto uh-huh. with some honey. Baby. So oh, well, when are you supposed to give me some of that? Probably. You know they have it in some Publix now, too. I need you to yeah, just give me some. Uh, if you go to okay. Chattahoochee Food Works, they serve it there. But it's it's really good. I love that coffee. Love it, love it. I had it when I was in New Orleans one time, and I never forgot it. It was so good. Yeah, yeah it is, it. it's really good. <laughs> I'm hoping mm-hmm. that someone will come in my damn uh, subscription, because that will make me happy. I mean, it is coffee from all over. This coffee oh. came from, uh, this one came from Texas. Um mm-hmm. So I'm not sure where the other one came, but I just got a new one. I put it in, I put it in my stories, but nobody looks. I need to do better with stories. Girl, it's with okay. looking at them and stuff. Yeah. Um. <laughs> speaking of, uh, JC says, "Girl, I don't know what is going on cosmically, but the feelings are real. Actually, I do know. It's that damn sun and Pisces. Listen." I don't know. Baby, the Pisces is going to make you be, you're going to be confronted with everything because that's just how they are. They run, they feel as run deep right in your face. Uh, <laughs> like, uh, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Um, also, Monica says, don't talk shit about iced coffee. I'm team iced coffee all year round. I only do cinnamon hot coffee, but had to be eaten with Mexican cookies. Been drinking coffee since five years old. Mexican tradition coffee with milk and cookies or pan dulce. I really, really, really love my Cafe Bustelo. So, yes, Monica, I feel you. Oh, Monica, I love Cafe Bustelo with, like, all my heart. I have Cafe um, both kinds, the uh, Cafe Bustelo and Cafe Bustelo de Brazil, because I just found out about that one, and it's so good. Oh, it's so it good. It is Cafe and Bustelo. affordable. It's so good, yes. And it's, like, so good. <laughs> See, we're going to turn it into a, a coffee love call. Mm-hmm. Coffee okay. love. Okay. I, I coffee too it's a real good. situation. I just, you know, I prefer hot. That's all. <laughs> 
I think you actually, okay, so I've I've had, I guess, iced coffee, like, you know, the the little glass bottles of, like, cafe mocha from, like, Starbucks or whatever. Mm-hmm. But I think you gave me my first iced coffee with ice in it. Oh, okay. 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 When I was at, I think it was Love and Light. Yes, at Tips event, at the Planniversary Bash. Yes, yes. So I think that was the first time. Absolutely. Shout out to Love and Light Charms. Do you have a code for Love and Light Charms? I don't, but Tip is the best, so go shop her. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. I mean, I just know a lot of people had codes, and I thought you did. So do you you PR for, wait, let me just get to the real introduction. Okay, so Nicole. The planner guru, um, plan her universe, you know, coffee coffee planner, babe. I don't know. Um, she's just such a good spirit. So we had to have her on. She's always so supportive. So I would like for you to tell the good people of the real, we call us um, the listeners, the realist. So please tell the realist how you got started in this planner journey. Um, so I got started on my planner journey pretty young. So as um my grandmother and my mom always has stationery like everywhere. My mom was a person that in by every phone in the house she has something cute, like a cute pen and a pad match and then she may have a little coaster next to it that goes with the, the whole thing right by the phone. Because, you know, we had house phones back in the day and everybody uh-huh. every you know, a, it was a phone in the living room, a phone in her room. So she made it a point to just have things like that. She had stationery for her desk. And then my grandmother had, she was very meticulous with her journals because she uh, was very, um, you know, heavy into building her Bible study routines and things like that for her church congregations. And she was like an usher and she was in meetings, things like that. So she had a lot of journals. She was a very avid journal journaler. Um, because of that. So she was very meticulous about the type of paper that she used and the type of pen and and the consist- consistency of the pen. So that all, that I had all of that my whole life. So I kind of always cared about that <laughs> because it was cared about in front of me. So it was just something that I always really kind of cared about. Like, I don't like ashy paper. That's a big, huge pet peeve of mine. <laughs> I don't like <laughs> pen. And what is I ashy paper? If your hands feel normal before you touch the paper and after you touch the paper, you feel like it's something on you or, you know, like it's the paper, though. It's not you. It's the paper because the paper is ashy. It feels like it's putting something ah. on you. You know, the, yeah, it just I know, feels, I know that feeling. <laughs> yeah, and it's just not, nobody wants that. That's all. So, like that naturally and so growing up um you know in school they give you a planner I I really liked my planner I folded my pages you know how people used to be folding their pages and they're like hexagons and little hearts and all of that in your planner how you could fold the pages like origami-ish in your school planner no okay. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah I know what planner. you're saying Oh, okay, okay. I was like, maybe that was just my house, but <laughs> but yes. Yeah, so no, but I did I, it with composition notebooks. So yes, I do know what you're talking about. Okay, yeah, yeah, same. Like especially if you used to have a notebook with your friend, like where y'all write letters back and forth. Like yes. I grew up in the little, you know what I'm saying? So color pens and highlighters and uh, different tip pens, gel pens were a real big thing. Like unit balls, all mm-hmm. those that came out, like, zebra pins, like, you know, it was just a big thing for me. And so it's always been a big thing for me. I always had a planner, and it always worked for me, writing down my plans and my feelings, like, in journals and things like that. It was something that, again, I always saw, so I just kind of carried those habits throughout my life. So as far as when I started my planner journey, I would have to say I started really young because of that. Um, But it just grew into this because I found out there was other planner people. I didn't know that, you know, I used to get made, kind of made fun of because I would make my friends scrapbooks, you know, (laughs) and things like that. They'd be like, oh, you're so corny, but this cute, you know. But then I grew up to find out, like, there was other people that liked it like me. So that kind of sparked 
you know, me sharing because I didn't share because I just thought it was just me, you know? Yeah, I do. <laughs> I think we all kind of have that. Yeah. Oh, my God, it's other people out there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Moment. Um, yeah. I'm always really happy. And we all kind of started the same way. It was either school, Lisa Frank, your parents, whatever it was, everybody kind of has like a similar, a similar story. Yeah, yeah. And I remember my my mom um having purple. What what now I know that they are paper made flare pens. Mm-hmm. But I remember mm-hmm. my mom always having purple paper made flares, and I would always take them. And finally, she was like, "I ordered an extra box at work, and don't you touch my damn pens no more." <laughs> So I finally got my own box, and I was like, eh, you know. It's a come up. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, So when did you decide to, like, oh, well, I want to know, okay, two things, two questions in one. When did you decide, like, okay, I'm going to make a whole Instagram for this and dedicate it to this? And how did you come up with the name Planning Guru? I really like that. Oh, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> so this is funny. Um, so basically, I started, I was like in Texas, and I was like, you know, just kind of at a point where I have been working in my field for a while, and I'm like, you know, is this what I really want to do? Like, what do I want to do? Like, what do I like? What do I care about? And then, you know, I was just kind of in that mode. Well, at that time, you know, when it's, it's like the season that you kind of get into when you start reevaluating your life. So I have hit literally five years in my career field, so I was just kind of reevaluating, like, is this really what I want to do? So by that time, it had been, it was like 2015. So, um, and I was just kind of reevaluating, and then we moved to Georgia. Um, and then I found the planner community and I had a, a Instagram, but it was called Uber Cole because Uber was my favorite word. <laughs> like before the company, but just the word Uber because it means like, yeah, because it's like super Uber. Uber. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm, so, mm-hmm. so that was, that was my favorite word. So my Instagram name used to be Uber Cole like a long time ago. But then Uber came out, so obviously it was like it was getting weird. <laughs> so I couldn't keep having that name because I was. <laughs> so, <laughs> so then you know. Anyway, so I was talking to my husband, and then I I, I went to the planner, and then I realized like that there was a planner community. So you know, I had started seeing things, kind of following people, and then I realized, like, I need to make a planner page, and I don't even use my Instagram, so I just switched it over, and then that, that's what I did. So I at that time, I think I maybe, I, I had, like, maybe, like, 60 followers. You know, I just had, like, friends on there. It just wasn't, like, a page that I used a lot, and then I just started posting. And then the name, because um, I'm always, I've always been, very outgoing and I'm going to start and plan something like we're about to do something like if we don't have a plan or if this is what we say we want to do whoever we are you know whoever I'm around in whatever area work friends family I'm the planner person so calling myself the planner guru it was just like you know kind of like haha that would be a cute Instagram name and then my husband was like I definitely think that would be it and then that was it so I just picked it because that's kind of what I do you know just just outside of like anything that's just my natural thing I'm out I don't mind planning it that's all whatever it is (laughs) and so yeah that's how it came about it's like being an expert in your field and planning being your thing I love that um yeah she is the guru I guess I kind of didn't finish that, but yeah, so I was just kind of reevaluating what I wanted to do. Then I found the planner community. Then I decided like this would be a fun hobby because I don't really know like 
I don't really have, like, a, a thing that I do outside of work, you know. So that's kind of what I was craving. So it kind of all collided together at the same time. So it worked out. <laughs> so it didn't – I mean, you you got it because you needed a new hobby. But it's really kind of turned into – I want to call it a career, a, a career, another career path, right? Like a, maybe a side hustle, because I've been at events where you have had a coffee bar and you made coffee for all 100 guests or however many guests it was, um, like specified coffee, like a whole barista in that thing. Um, I've seen you speak at different, you know, different planner events. Um, you've talked about, you know, self care, you know, you talked about these things. So how did you end up being like saying like, okay, I'm gonna take this not only am I gonna take my planning to the next level, I'm gonna take this, you know, this hobby, this hustle, all of this and make it into something, you know, something more. How did you you know, how did you come to terms with that or how did it happen? Well, so I really was doing it personally, like privately, people would be asking because I have a planner, they would ask for planners and I was making them, you know, no cost. And then eventually I started charging because it costs money to make a planner. So after I've made it, I've spent, you know, whatever. And of course, if I'm gifting it, that's one thing, but if I'm making it specifically to specifications, that's another, you know? Right, right. So, yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, so I started charging, um, and I have been doing that for maybe, like, a year or two. Um, and then after that, I um, after that, I just kept posting, honestly, on Instagram. And as far as me kind of turning it into a – so that was kind of, like, as a request. It wasn't something I was offering. I wasn't, like, you know, saying, like, this is what I do, this is what I do. Eventually – as it started, you know, booming and I was getting great re reviews and feedback, um, I did start, you know, like making it in bulk. Um, I've made some for students, for graduating classes, um, for different organizations of like uh, girls that are, you know, going on to a next level in life. I've made planners for them. Uh, just doing things like that to kind of give back, um, was something that I started doing, and that's really kind of where I started in my planner journey as a business, um, kind of as a kind of community builder, um, and then it kind of turned into me doing more because I realized that, number one, is something that I've always done that's given me something good, so giving it back to the girls, the young girls, was like a big thing that I wanted to do. But I then started realizing that it's a lot of people that's my age that could also use it. So that's why I started being more conscious about posting and just showing the progression of myself, which is using my planner, which I've always done. But I just never shown it. So I felt like it would be beneficial. So that's why I kept doing it. I didn't even know you made planners. I was just about to say the same thing. <laughs> I'm sorry, Coco. I be talking. You know, I had all I mean, coffee all day. Not, no, you're it's fine. It's not really like I said. I make them, but I just make them if somebody asks me. So you know, it's not like oh, okay. I, it's not an know, online business like, per se. No heavens, no, <laughs> not yet. Anyways, <laughs> I would need like a lot more inventory, a lot more, you know. For it to be that, yeah. and I just would like to do it for people that genuinely want the organization, you know, but just don't know where to start. So I'll, you know, help them with that. And I like doing that because it's helpful, and I know that it's beneficial, and it's not like showy. You know, I can just privately be helpful, and that's what I like to do. And I like to publicly give information, but if I can help and do more good, you know, one on one, then that's what I like to do. That's my thing. <laughs> it's really hard to find people who genuinely like to help. Um, you know, without like throwing it back up in your face or, you know, all that underhanded all that stuff. Is. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, what, yeah what without needing something back. Right. right. Um, right. I have a question in the chat. Bianca says, what kind of planners do you make? Um, I make whatever the customer will need. So I've made planners for truck drivers that need to dock hours and load dates and weights and amounts, which has been, you know, very interesting. But you can do those things with Canva or Excel. Um, and I'm, I've am i learned to be better with Excel over the years in my um, nine-to-five job, so it just translated easily for me to be able to, like, do that. And if you get um, inserts on Amazon that are already cut for the size planner that they prefer, then it's easy to do. So you can just do it yourself um, if you want. Um, and so I've made them for just different people, people um, that have workouts, um, facilities, so they, they're tracking, you know, training times and uh, workout times and client names and how much they're charging the client, so just things mm. like that, so it's specified. It's not, So you, you know, create the one insert. Type of thing. Yes, yeah. Yeah, oh, create yeah. the insert. You know, if they have their business, put their logo in it or whatever they need, if they need a place for motivation or something like that, then add you know, those things in there, really whatever they're asking for, that they feel like they need to make their life more consistent. I love that. Uh, Monica Penny Pincher Planner says, I love that she is for the community. And Bianca says, that's amazing with a whole bunch of hearts. Yay, thank you, guys. <laughs> um. <laughs> So I spent a lot of time always, like, I watch your lives, like, when you, so after you go to an event or something, or even when you just get with your girls and you do these smaller, not necessarily planner events, but just planner, like, meetups, you always, like, go live and you talk about how the event was and you show, like, you know, what all you got in Happy Mail. Um, I am trying my best to get more and more comfortable in front of the camera. Um, so oh, you're doing a good job. <laughs> Say that one more time for the people in the back. Okay, you're, you're doing, doing a phenomenal. great job. You really are. Yeah. Thank you, darling. Um, so how did you just get so comfortable, like, just, I mean, not that you aren't amazing, but, like, how did you, not, I mean, not, I don't know. I don't, uh, hear me out. Not that you're not amazing. <laughs> not that you're not amazing. Not that you don't think you're amazing or know you're amazing. But how did you get so comfortable showing your awesomeness in front of the screen and not giving a fuck about, like, what a troll might say or what a hater might say or any of that? You know what I'm saying? Like, how do you just be like, fuck it, let's go? Excuse my language, I be cussing, you know that, right? Okay. Girl, yeah. I mean, you know, we be cussing, you right? I mean, so I just feel like, so I guess number one to, like, the haters, the trolls, I, I, I don't care. You know, I am, I literally don't care. Number one, I don't even know you, like, whoever you are, person mm-hmm. that does not enjoy what I'm putting out. And if if you don't like it, it's literally not for you. And I don't feel like I need to explain that simple truth to people. So if you feel like that, you know, hold that. Burn with that. Feel it in your chest, baby, because you're going to hold it on your own. I can tell you. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So I just don't care about that. Like, I literally don't care because I literally don't even – it's just not my thing. Like, I don't know. <laughs> So that's how I feel about that. And then um, as far as how did I get so comfortable, so I would just say that, number one, I've I've always been very outgoing. Like, I'm, I'm not shy. <laughs> I've never been shy, but being online, it did seem foreign to me at first getting in front of a camera versus talking to people face-to-face because that's how I would prefer to interact with people is in person. But I also appreciate, you know, the online aspect. So I did have to get used to it, but I do feel like um, that 
it just translates easier because I didn't. I don't have the fear of being in front of people. I, like, was in, on my step team in high school. I was I, I was on step team since, like, the seventh grade um, all the way till I graduated. So I am known for performing in front of crowds. I you know, and um, I just am very outgoing. So I just didn't have that as as a kid growing up. I'm going to be right. in the mix. Like, I'm out here. <laughs> so you need as far as getting on, yes, yes. So as far as getting online with it, it was just being online, you know, just seeing because I am a very, um, I guess, joyous person. I would prefer mm-hmm. not to self up to the world because it's the world, you know what I'm saying? And so that kind of would deter me from getting online. But outside of that, you know, that's really much, that's pretty much it. Nothing else would deter me. It's just kind of doing it so much often because I like to be present in the present moment. So every day I'm I'm not going to be online. So I did have to get used to being okay with that because that's what I feel. You know, so that, but outside of that, I love it. And I yeah, like that plug is serious. Like you know, you said what? I said that unplugging thing is serious. Yeah, and I really did struggle with that as a content creator, like, you know, showing, like, or just, just posting, you know, like, just because, but I don't like doing that. So I love posting stuff that I really love. Like that's why at my random, I'm gonna randomly hop on live because that's what I randomly do. Like I don't know, I love my planner and I'm always using it, but I don't every. I just can't take a picture of every single thing because I'm actively using it. So I'm also actively doing it. So it's just for me, it's easier to post when I'm in the moment, and that's. That's good and bad, like, you know, as far as kind of... No, it is. I think it's good because it's more authentic. Yeah, it is more authentic, but as far as, you know, segmentation of content and how it's pushed out to my the people that are on my page, it's, you know, it's damaging, but I I have Uh to be real with me and know what. I put out is what I want to put out, you know, so I don't want to Mm -hmm. put out a picture that I don't love and just because I needed to post a picture, like, I don't want to do that. So I'm just not, like, you know, and I just had to make peace with that. And I have now, you know, but it did take some time for me to make peace with that. And I I did, so I'm grateful for that. Um, Yeah, I think, you know, I always say this, probably every episode, um, or every time someone new comes, because there's always new listeners, but Real Talk, Real Plans came because of that. Like, um, I was just talking about how fake people were, well, not fake, the people were, but how fake their planners looked, how fake their aesthetics looked, like their desks were always super clean. Um, they just It just always <laughs> seemed so perfect. And I was like, man, keep it real. You know what I'm saying? Right. And they never had anything bad to say about certain companies. They never, mm-hmm. you know, not that you have to have something bad to say about a company, but if you take me. Everything is not perfect. It, thank you. If you take six months to ship something, I'm going to call you out. Yeah, you can get a live and say, this is not. so beautiful, but it took forever to get here. <laughs> That's okay to say. Right. Yeah. Or yeah, honest. Like you should be yeah. honest. That's like, I mean, yeah. but again, you you should be honest. But you can say that as a person that is consuming content, but as a person that's creating content and that's out here to get the bag, they're not here to be honest. You know. So it's just like you can't tell people how to use the internet, and that's why I use it the way that I use it because that's how I want to use it, you know, because they going, everybody else is using it how they want to use it. So for me mm-hmm. to feel, show up authentically and to really build community, that's why I use it. I do how I do because I feel like it's consistent because this is how I actually interact. You know, this is real. Like I can't talk to people every single day. Like to me, that's too much. I'm not that person. 
and people that know me understand that. So as my planner community, you will understand that. But that doesn't mean that I'm not using my planner just like any regular person. So I feel like that, to me, that makes sense. And if it doesn't make sense to everybody, that's cool because it ain't for you. And like I said earlier, not my fight. (laughs) Right. No, I like, I mean, I like that you have that. You know, a lot of times, um, like you said, content creators are out there just to get a badge or a check or, you know, whatever it is they're looking for um, to get a name for themselves as opposed to letting things grow organically, creating um, engagement opportunities, um, and actually, like you said, building community um, within a smaller community, like the the planner community is jamongous, but within the planner community, I feel like I've built a community of my own, people that I can call and support, people that, you know, share stories and say, hey, the show is coming on at nine, be sure to listen. Oh, speaking of, I'm so rude, y'all. Okay. Wait, hold on. Let me find it. All right, everybody. Somebody has been on hold, and I didn't even know it. But if you would like to call in and talk to Nicole, the number is 515-602-9680. Again, that number is 515-602-9680. Sorry, I got you on hold, caller. But now you are on the air. Hi, caller. Tell us where you, who you are and where you're from. Uh, Guten tag. I hope you guys are feeling blessed and highly flavored. Is me, your favorite Colonel Catholic Cowboy, known It's Frank, quite frankly. And I'm from... Columbus, yeah. Mississippi, born and raised. Hey, Frankie, how you doing? Girl, I'm blessed and highly flavored, child. Uh, I just got through doing a, a, a lipstick performance on Big O Live, and it was real fun. Yeah. Ooh, a lipstick performance. Turn up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to make sure to share uh, the picture of my makeup and stuff, too. You know, I'm, I'm full on geese right now. Uh, Please, tell me what color you wore. Uh, a bunch of different colors, child. I'm just gonna have to send you the picture. Oh, um, yes, Nicole. I would love to see it. Hey. How you doing, love? Amazing. How are you? I'm tired, but I'm making a way. I okay. Really to and, and 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 that's what we got to do is make a way. You gotta make a way. The illustrious Clark Atlanta teaches us to find a way or make a way. <laughs> Don't you forget it. <laughs> Ooh, Don't you forget I love it. That. I love that. Um, but I didn't really want anything for real, for real. I just came up to to come support <laughs> number one, to pop a little ish for a second, um, and three, tell you beautiful ladies. Um, how much I appreciate you, Riri, Coco, Nicole. Um, like each one of y'all have like a special place in my heart for real, for real, for different reasons. And um, when I when I'm with y'all, I I feel safe and at home, and I really appreciate y'all for that. You are at home, but since you're here, let me ask you a question. Hmm. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. So we have been talking a lot about routines with our planners, and which is actually why Nicole is on the show this week. I just hadn't gotten to her yet. But my question for you is, what is a routine that you used this week that actually worked for you in your planner? Um, the routine that I've made for myself this week is that, the moment my eyes wake up, my eyes open. That didn't even make sense. The moment my eyes open in the morning, um, I go to the bathroom. I drink two cups of water. I feed my my seven horses, and I fix a cup of coffee, and I immediately go to my planner. Um, because what I I found. Over these last couple of months, between like October up to now, there was a time where I wasn't really. I was planning, I was putting stuff on paper, but I wasn't executing. And mm. I think it really comes from me not actually 
setting an intention. Because especially if you've been in, been in the planning community, like in the planning community itself for so long. Because you know, I I, I found the planning community around 2014, and so. You know, I went through phases, and I feel like this latest phase of mine, especially after um, an incident that ha- happened in October, and I'll talk about that on my YouTube. Uh, I'm not going to block y'all up with that. But um, after an event that happened, I, I ended up kind of going into, like, a a, a depression. I-, I call it a sunken place because it was to a point where I didn't even want to, like, leave home. And so now that I've kind of – got back out there and and things of that nature. Um, went to, to Galentine's with y'all and then came back home and had to face reality. Um, it brought a lot of stuff full circle for me and I realized that um ain't nobody gonna care as much about what I want to do or what I want to manifest for myself than I do. Period. In order for it to happen I have to to take that initiative, and that yep. initiative for, yep. for me was first taking care of my temple, and then coming, uh, taking care of the the, the morning routine stuff, and then coming back to to the planner to address my my mental and my spiritual. Um, and, and I'm I'm stronger for it, honestly. I'm glad. I'm I'm really excited that that routine has helped you out, and I hope that it really helps out somebody that um you know, that's listening in, Uh, maybe as soon as you wake up, as you have your morning coffee, set your intentions, open your plan or write them down, do whatever it is you got to do. And that advice came from, quite frankly, um, he has a YouTube channel. He also has a Bego. Is it Bego? Did I say that right? Yeah, you said it right. It's uh, it's Bego Live. Um, The Bego ID is actually still SergioSavage.co, working on getting that changed. Um, and I, I go live over there all the time. I also do a lot of African spirituality. I do do divination, divination readings, tarot card readings, um, carry share readings. Um, and yeah, I just want to encourage people to be boldly and unapologetically their best version of themselves. And in order to do that, you know, you have to address the reality of and move forward accordingly. Okay. Well, thank you so much. We have another caller. Nicole, do you have anything else you want to say to Frankie? Love you. Love you too, Toga. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bye, Frankie. Love, y'all. Love you too. Bye. All right, caller. You are on the air. Tell us who you are and where you're calling from. Hi. This is Tisha. I'm calling from Georgia. Yay. Hi. Hey. Um, in the, hey, Nicole. It's a neighbor in stickies. Hey. All right. In, enabling stickies on Instagram, y'all. At enabling stickies. Thank you. How you doing today, girl? I'm doing good. How y'all doing? Good. So Do you have a question for our planner guru? No. Just also like Frank calling to show my support to Nicole, who is the GOAT. I got a real one online tonight. <laughs> we absolutely do. It I'm really sorry, shows you. how much of a community you build when people just call in just to support. They don't have nothing to say. Don't mm-hmm. have no questions. Nope, just want to say hi. I would say tonight, too. Hey, girl, hey. <laughs> hey. Okay, so I have to ask you the same question. What planner routine, maybe I'll ask you a different question. For someone who is struggling with their planner lineup after the first two months of the year, what would you tell them? What is your biggest piece of advice for them? I would tell them it's like the best kept secret that nobody knows or use about is get you some printables that you can find. A lot of shops have them um, for free online and print those out and see if you like them and then go from there. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. And you know what? I have some printables that I bought 
and then I forgot. Let me ask you something since you brought up the printable, because I have some sitting in my Etsy purchases that I never sent. So I did it one time, and then they didn't print correctly. So when you send them, do you have to format it, or do you use? Are they already formatted? Because now you have to it. format it. Um, because okay. sometimes the, the printer just set whatever it wants to. Um, you have to go to because some of them make it fit the paper rather than actual mm-hmm. size. So you have to go and change that on there. Otherwise, you think you might like the size, but then it's the wrong size because they made it wrong, not the size you want. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. I'm glad you called. <laughs> Because I forgot all about the ones that I purchased. Yeah, so mm. that's the best kept secret. A lot of Facebook groups, um, shops, they have a lot of printables and freebies in there. That's a good way to pretty much try all the sizes and then figure out which one you like. I agree with oh, that. Okay. Um, some of my favorite print- freebie printables come from, like, um, uh, what's that one y'all do for Pi Day? Passion Planner. They have uh-huh. you know, where you basically print their whole thing out and use it, you know, to see if you like it. And Peanuts Planner Co. I think they have lots of freebies in their Facebook group. I'm not affiliated with either of those places. Um, I mean, if you want to, I mean, I'm just letting you know what I know, you know. Also, the day designer does too. Day designer? Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, yeah, from Hobby have, Lobby? Is that Hobby Monthly, Lobby? Monthly, weekly. No, Day Designer is, um, they're their own brand, but they're also in Target. Yeah. Oh. Those are like the really popular ones, like the really expensive ones. They have mm-hmm. daily, weekly, they have all that on their website for you to print them out and try. Yeah, they have daily, weekly, and monthly. Mm-hmm. On their website. Okay. They designer. Really that was the first. If you scroll like to the back of my page, you'll see all day designer. I used to go, I used to go up for day designer. I can't lie. <laughs> I love day designer. I think my mama had that. You know, like back in the back, back, back in the day. Yeah. Like it'll be one of them. It'll be one of them. Yeah. But they, they still, they're still nice. They still do what they need to do. They still hit though. I actually yeah, found sure. one of her old planners, and I've been thinking about like just. You know, wiping it down, taking our stuff out, but I just can't seem to like wrap my mind around it. But I mean, the inserts are still good. You know, <laughs> like you can tell that it was quality. Um, right. Not, not like some of the stuff that comes out now. You know what I'm saying? But like real quality. Mhm. Yeah, my yeah. dad he had a um, a uh, Franklin um, Covey planner and. I kept it. My dad my dad passed away in 2011, but he had a Franklin Covey planner. Yeah, well, you I see those. It. Oh, wow. Like, That's nice. Man. Yeah. Oh, another way is to also go to a lot of planner events, and a lot of people, you'll get a bunch of planners that way, too. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, and for D-Sash. Sure. Like, if you check the D-Sash group, People like um, Coco, <clears throat> who purchase a size and she'll go all in and then realize I don't like this size. It happens to the best of us. Don't go back. Mm-hmm. I feel so approached. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, I can use me too because I used to be a classic girly, and I can't even I can't even think about it now. I love it for the monthly mm. remix because the monthly boxes are so big and you can just get so much stuff in them, right? But as far as using the classic size plan, I'm like, I don't have that much to do. Right. Um, so, yeah. Well, all right. Do you have anything else you'd like to offer our good friend, Nicole? Um, no, she had all the good vibes, and we just got to meet up and do something. <laughs> Technically, I'll probably uh, see sure. her at the Tiffany thing next week, so it's fine. Yes, I'm sure I'll see everybody March 9th for Love and Light Charms Meetup. I don't know where it is, but I do know it's the 9th. 
I think it's at the food court in the mall somewhere. Yeah, on the ninth. Yes, in the food, which mall? food court. Free ninety nine. Also, I'm having an event too. It won't be until twenty twenty six, but oh. it'll be on October third. I'll be there. <laughs> All right. I like a party. I don't care what kind it is. Yeah. Day, night, evening, weekend. I'll be there. October third, twenty twenty six. Let me put it in my plan. Thank you. Let me put it. I don't even think my plan. I got twenty twenty six. I'm gonna have to put that on the. Phone Mine don't first. either. I have to put it on a sticky note. <laughs> And just carry it around. Carry that stick, you know, for two for two years. I'm gonna put yeah. it but that's okay. See, that's the kind of plan I am. October third, twenty twenty six. You have a you get married? Oh, you already married? I am. Okay. Well, October we gonna we gonna plan that. Coco, we are gonna celebrate your birthday early that year. Yeah, that's fine. Cause I'll be on the cruise. I'm sure for my birthday. Mm, y'all heard that? Um, that one Easter egg. Hint, hint, hint. Just take it down. Cruising. We're cruising. We're cruising. Okay. Oh yes, we are. But <laughs> not, not no. Mm mm. Mm mm. I I didn't pay attention to them this week. What? I've been on a I've been on a Risa Tisa thing. Okay, well, we're going to get to Risa Tisa, too. All right, well, thank you so much at Enabling Sticky. You guys, make sure you go give her a follow. And I guess I'll see a couple of y'all next month. Yes, we'll see you on the 9th. On the 9th. And then then again. Yeah, two to be exact. Wait, what's the the Enabling Sticky? Sorry. I know Mm -hmm. I have the ADHD. Okay. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye, y'all. Bye. Bye. Okay, Nicole. So now that I've talked to everybody else about planning routines, what are your like? What what guides you for your planning routines? Like, help me. Help me. Struggling. (laughs) And so, I I think. For me, I am, I like to plan. So I don't, as far as what guides me for my planning routine, it's the fact that I know I'm not going to remember. Like, and I'm also a mom and a, and a wife, and you know, my husband has obligations. My kids have things to do, so I just can't, I just can't be the one that be like, dang, I forgot. You know, that's like, that's not acceptable. <laughs> So I just know that, and so I plan accordingly. So I'm not that that mom. I just try to, you know, understand what I have to do and don't make excuses. I just want to do it, whatever it is, even if it takes a while. Because the thing about it is that I know, like, I have, like, all of these grand things that I want to do, but I also realistically know, like, I can't do them all today. You know what I'm saying? So I just know that I can't drop the ball but that everything will get done as long as I'm actively working towards it. So I think that's really my guiding force is that I know that whatever I want to do, I'm going to do it. But it's like I'm working on it, and I actually am working on it. So, like, don't be surprised when I do what I said I was going to do because I'm working on it, and it's going to happen. And it really is, whatever it is, you know, whatever it is. And that really gives me so much happiness and peace. It's like why would I let that go? For what? So do I'm you not. get up in the morning and do it? Do you plan at night before bed? Or, like, do, how many times a day do you touch your planner? So I definitely touch my planner in the morning just, like, to make sure that I know. Like, okay, let me just look to see, like, what do I have? To, like, what did I write? You know what I'm saying? Because every day, like, you know, days just be unfolding. And if you don't already know what you plan to do ahead of the day, you might, you know what I'm saying, you might miss that that 11 o'clock meeting, like, because something happened at 1045, and I was putting out that fire, and I forgot about this, you know. So 
if you, for me, I just at least glance at my planner just to see, like, what it is. I also um, made, made it a habit this year to each day write a quote in my planner. So I have, like, weeks of, like, kind of words or an energy that I want to cultivate. So I just find quotes that have to do with it every morning. Um, and then I write them down because, you know, synergy, just keeping you centered on what you say you want to be centered on. And nobody can make you stand on nothing if you ain't standing on it yourself. So it's good to just have directives, in my opinion, from people or things that have, you know, accomplished what you're trying to do, whatever realm that comes from. So I really love quotes, and I feel like they are a good guide for me, so I allow them to be. Um, so that's really my thing. I check my planner, see what I got to do, write my quote, and then, I'll go about my day. So, you know, walking my dog, getting my kids up, making sure if who's ever supposed to take lunch, lunch money at the last minute. Um, if my husband has something to do with his basketball team, he has AAU teams. Um, so, you know, just things like that, making sure that everybody is accounted for. And then when I do actually sit down at my desk to start my work day, if I can get there early, that's great because I can plan out my day. If not, then I do it like, you know, as my work day is unfolding, kind of as soon as I get in, I'm just writing down things that I know I need to do, and then I do them, and then that's it. So I might touch my planner like three times a day, max, but at least for sure once, at least once. Okay. For sure, max. Um. Monica says, this week she is adjusting to her new routines and giving herself grace to come home and chill. Um, yes, girl, rest. Yeah, rest is definitely a necessity. Um, so this week for my planner, I'm sorry, Coco, did you have a new routine that you used in your planner this week? I'm sorry. I feel like I just been, it's the coffee, y'all. It's the coffee. It's okay, we can hear. Um, <laughs> what you say? <laughs> the coffee is coffeeing. Yes, it is, and that's okay. Love you anyway. Um, a new routine? No, I haven't added a new routine this week. The only thing I've done is set up a passport planner. I have, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this though. I was like, what you going to do? I think it's going to decorate it. Uh, probably like ephemera. Like just some decorating quotes, some um, motivational stuff, you know, something like that. So when I want to throat punch somebody, I just look in there and I'd be like, oh. Okay. Oh, this is so sweet. Let me just rub it. Because <laughs> I want to throat punch people a lot. So. Let, me, let me just rub it. Um, okay, well, I'm going to ask you about work in a minute. Um Huh? Oh, I'm gonna okay. ask you about work. See who you've been trying to throw punch at work, cause I need to know. Um, oh yeah. But, okay. So this week, for my planner in my A6, what I did mm -hmm. was I used and her name is Anastasia. If you haven't been tuning in, mm -hmm. and I just took her clothes off because they're too too tight for her. They're too little. So now she just has um like a clear cover, and you just get to see the black stylogy with the stickers on it. And I, I mean, I kind of love it because she cute. Okay. <laughs> she's still kind of naked. You know what I'm saying? Like, I need one of those bands from Tiffany, but not quite a big, big band to cup closer because mm -hmm. she's not big enough for the big band. But anyway, you get what I'm saying. Maybe I'll just put a hairball on it. Um. But this week, I used two days per page so that I could allow myself to journal or get some stuff off my chest. Not necessarily a whole dear diary, you know what I'm saying? But sometimes you just have thoughts and you need to get them out so that you're not um, obsessing over them like right. last night. At three o'clock in the morning, I joined all these oxygen support groups <laughs> and read up on everybody's um, fears about using oxygen and traveling with oxygen up until about five thirty this morning. I was like, "Bitch, go to bed." 
But does that make you feel better? I don't know if it. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Like I'm, I'm really obsessed about it. I feel like, I feel like, I mean, I think all I'm of saying, you guys. Like, do you feel like the more information that you gain, you feel better about it, or do you feel like it makes you more anxious? I'm not sure. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm not sure. Like, on one hand, I'll read something where somebody says, hey, yeah, I traveled with my oxygen machine, and it was fine, and I feel successful. Or I might read something where somebody says, yeah, I was on oxygen for a couple of years, and I was able to get off. But then I hear people who say, like, I mean, I've read stuff like, I was on oxygen for 10 years, and you know, I'm like, what the fuck? I'm not doing that. <laughs> you know, so I guess it just kind of depends on what I'm reading. Um, but right. I know that I had to like cut it off. I played Harry Potter and was like, "Go to bed, go to bed, go to bed, go to bed." Right. <laughs> so, um, um, but anyway, I use the two pages per day. I keep saying it wrong. Um, and I use pages for like journaling and one of them for like scheduling. Um, and like you, Nicole, I might put a quote on there. I might put like if I see five 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 on my phone, I might screenshot it. I might write it down, look up what five 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 means, and you know, just give myself mm-hmm. a little motivation. Um, this week was really tough. It was my sister's birthday, the day my sister died. You know, so just mm-hmm. tributes to her. You know, printed out some mm-hmm. pictures, stuck it in there, that kind of stuff. So um, that was a new routine for me um, to kind of give myself the chance to journal each day, even if I didn't, like, whip out a journal, like a, t- a, a stereotypical journal. Right, right. Um, yeah. Um, let me see if I tackled all the questions that I had for you, my darling. Um Oh, I have a question from at I Make Plans. Okay. Do you have any plans on being the barista for any upcoming planner events? Not currently. Hmm. But if, you you guys, if anyone would like to hire me as a barista for any upcoming events, then let me know. Slide in my DMs. I'm definitely available. I do have a speaking engagement um, next month, starting the beginning of next month about planning, which I'm super excited about. Um, and but as for now, no, I don't. Okay, so can you tell us more about the speaking engagement, or is it still a sticker? Uh, still a sticker? What? Still a secret? <laughs> No, it's not a secret. Um, so I, um, w- along with two other friends who are also also planner babes, uh, we are speaking at a, a breakout session at the Millennial Social Work Conference um, that's going to be in Atlanta on Friday. So, well, it starts Friday. I think it goes longer than that, but um, our breakout session is, is then. So I'm really excited about that for the opportunity, obviously, to speak with millennial social workers because my age, you know, range, number one. And then number two, like, you know, it's just it's always great to share planning tips because I love planning, like geekily love planning. So I always like talking about it. So it's I'm excited for that. Yeah, it's always and they fun. Also, yeah, and they all chose to come here. So it's like they want to know about it. So it's going to be great. Oh, yeah, 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 because it's a breakout session. They had to pick you. Well, I know it's going to be full, and I know y'all going to turn up. Yeah, it's it's going to be. It's going to be fun. So I'm really excited for that. And then um, then Go Wild's coming after that. So I'm really excited for that, too. Um, yeah, um, I'm really excited. I have FOMO for Go Wild, but you guys, um, make sure, don't forget what I said about Snoop. I mean, I got you. Okay. All right. Um, don't you forget it. Okay. So, Nicole, I don't know if you ever listen to the show much, but we be talking about some mess. So we got some mess to talk about. Would you like to stick around for some mess? It's only a little bit longer. Yeah, I don't mind. I might okay. not know about the mess. 
I'm kind of an introvert. If it's outside of planning, girl, I'd be looking, but not for real. I ain't going to lie. So I might not know, but, you know, I'm going to give my two cents because I'm here, so hey. <laughs> well, right now I'm about to ask Coco because Coco is an HR, like, I guess I call her HR guru. Um, um, but she's like an HR, and so sometimes she be having mess at work. And she just said something about throat punching somebody. So, Coco, please tell us more about who you want to throat punch at work. Well, <clears throat> I didn't necessarily want to, well, I did want to throw a punch this guy. So let me tell you, we had to term, I had to terminate this guy on Thursday. And when y'all hear this reason, it's like the worst reason ever for a person that was in his position. So we have this platform for rewards and recognition for all of our employees globally, right? So every Friday, the accounting department sends me the invoices, and they're like, hey, can you approve, blah, blah, blah. So this week I was I had a slow week because everybody was on vacation, so it was good. So I was like, oh, I'm going to get in front of this. I'm going to go on the platform, look at all the, the gifts and stuff that's been sent out. So the lady said it on Friday. It's just done. Well, lo and behold, I go in and I see that there was a gift sent for $400. So let me back up a minute. The So we send this for anniversaries, retirement, stuff like that. And then all people leaders, all managers, anyone that has direct reports, have an account. And we used to have it set where you could only send $25, you know, because it's just like a spot award. Hey, thank you for staying late, whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's a spot award. But then we kind of opened it up. We took took the restraints off of it, but not so much, right? It's like the most we wanted them to go up to was like $100, whatever. And nobody has really gone over 100 ever. So I see this one, it says $400. And that's what sparked my, if it would have been 25 or 50, I'd have never looked at it. So I was like, what the hell? So they had the same last name. It would be like Leslie Jones, Erica Jones was the recipient, but Leslie Jones is the manager. These are just examples. I don't know who the hell is this. Anyway, um, so Leslie sent Erica this $400 gift. So I'm like, huh. Well, first what made me look at it is, I was like, is this a person who's reporting to him that is related to him and he's sending gifts? <laughs> and so that's what made me look at it first. So then I was like, oh, okay. So I look up, I look up the name. There's no Erica Jones in our bad database. So I was like, what well, is this weird? So then I look on the Leslie's account. Lo and behold, Leslie has a daughter named Erica. So I said, huh. So I started looking through this. Girl, long story short, this man sent a gift in his son's name who is not an employee. So you can also send it to any random email address because none of our manufacturing employees have email addresses because, you know, they're very transient in and out, and there's so many of them. And, right, and right, email right. addresses are expensive. So we, they don't, So we could send it to their cell phone or their personal email address. Okay, so he sent it to his son's name, but his personal email address, and he got a $400 speaker, okay? So I looked through the whole thing, and then I sent, I did this whole write-up, and I was like, this guy, this, this is ridiculous. He needs, he's got to go. Our number two value is integrity. You are a people leader. So we can't even trust you at this point. Well, a guy came up with all kind of reasons as to why that would have happened when I called him. First, he said he didn't know how to even use the platform, so I'm not sure how that would have happened with my name. Then it was, oh, I logged into the computer to, I logged into the platform to use it to try to figure it all out, and then my computer shut down. Well, how did it send it to this random person? Because you had to manually put this in, because this not an employee. So you had to put all the information in. Then he said, okay, I'll level with you. I went to the restroom. My son got on my computer and sent himself a gift. Well, first of all, this platform is not user-friendly. Second of all, what kind of bastard are you? You're going to throw your kid under the bus for what you right. have done. And yeah, it all was done with it was all done within two minutes, y'all. He logged in nine twenty five and forty nine seconds, and by nine twenty seven and fifty four seconds, he had checked out. 
from the, you know, accepted the gift from the other email. Like, everything is tracked. Like, how at your big old age you didn't think <laughs> that anybody would ever see this? And I know what he, I, 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 I believe, you know, people like, oh, it's a large corporation. It is a large company, which we're really not. We only have 1,900 employees worldwide. And only 200 of those people are people leaders. So it's really not a lot. And... Yeah, so he lost his job over three hundred and seventy nine dollars speaker. He's like, oh, you're not going to even give me an you're not going to give me an uh, option to even bring it back. You're just going to terminate me, sir. We don't trust you. <laughs> that, that's that's right. it. We, we don't trust you. We don't trust you. Yes, he says over this, over this. Yeah, you you stole from us. You stole from the company this little bit of money. So it's just for this because we're a corporation, but it should have been okay for you. And we should just, don't nobody trust you now? I don't trust you going to the damn cookout. No. no. And it's through a rewards program, like, with a yes. like, scalpel. And he has, he has never given one to any of his employees. And he's had access since June of last year. So, You've never given one to any of your employees in all this time, and the one you do is for four hundred dollars. And at first, yeah. oh, and 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 when he told us, told me that it was probably his son. He said, and I said, well, let me tell you something. If it were your son, who is eleven years old, because all that's in the thing, he definitely wouldn't have stopped at four hundred. Hell, they have the PlayStation Five on there. If you would have chose twelve hundred and fifty, you know, so. <laughs> Your son don't want this camouflage JBL speaker, sir. No, that's you. <laughs> and even if he did, you you let him on your computer to play a game while you go to the toilet. So that was wrong too. So, bye. Now you make eighty thousand dollars a year. You lost your job over three hundred seventy nine dollars, and that really pissed me off. I was more agitated. I don't mind firing people when it's performance based because we've talked to you twenty thousand times about it already. But this was unnecessary. Anyway, I just had to get that off my chest and tell somebody. So thank y'all for listening. <laughs> I definitely think you can punch him in his throat. I, I know. And then you blame your kids. I'll go yeah, home. That's... He says to me, I'll go home right now and get it and bring it back to the office. I said, well, you're going to need to give it back. But why are you not at home now? Because you're supposed to be working from home today. Boy, bye. Just, just get off my phone. <laughs> I'll go home, but I'm technically clock man at work. Get out of here. Yeah. You don't know too many of your secrets. Too many. And so, just a liar. Speaking of liars, speaking of liars, last week, you know, I was completely obsessed with Risa Tisa and her mm-hmm. story about Legion and his Legion of Lies. Nicole, did you watch any of that? No, ma'am. <laughs> I didn't. None I of the people. I, ne- I didn't, not a one. I'm, I, mm-mm. no, I didn't watch it. I heard about okay. it. I knew that it was like a thing, but I just didn't tune into it. Okay. Can I just say well, one I'm thing? Like... Yes. Nicole. You saved eight hours of your life because that's eight hours I can't get back. I don't even like this girl anymore. So, no, go ahead. I just feel like. (laughs) You don't like nobody, Coco. Get out of here. (laughs) But why would anybody put a cell phone to their face and talk for that long about instead of like really trying to do something different? I just, you know, so for me, I can't. I'm not about to listen to you. Like I told y'all earlier, I don't care. Like, girl, I, bye. I'm not about to listen to yeah. you. I wish I could get my eight hours back. I but that. I, I saw that it was a thing, and I did see that she was getting some flights and some trips, and I'm always down for black women getting some flights and some trips. So, you know, I don't know what happened, but I, I did hear that. It's, it's, she made bad decisions, and now she's being rewarded for it. That's all. Oh, she made That's bad what happened decisions. in the nothing. She oh made yes. Okay, okay. Don't listen to her because she is absolutely jaded. <laughs> Please don't listen to her. I I am. I am. Please don't listen to her. Okay. 
Okay. <laughs> so basically, you know how it is when women hit a certain age, that biological clocks. I mean, I don't know, because you're young. But you've heard stories of women who hit a certain how age. Young you you got to be like 32, 33. Oh, okay. Hey, girl, hey. I don't think that's what it was. I think she was materialistic because she, ne- she did not love this man. So anyway. Go ahead. <laughs> what the lady is, okay, let me say this. What she is saying that she experienced was she was um, desperate for a man. She thought it was supposed to be her turn. She was ready to be married. He told her what he wanted to hear. He did the things that she thought he was supposed to do. And, um, you know, so she fell for it. Two weeks later, the pandemic hit. Instead of quarantining alone, they quarantined together. And this ninja lied about everything. And she fell for it. Excused his lies because she was pregnant already. And um, Ooh, come to find, right. I mean, married him, um, you know, that kind of stuff. So, yes, yeah, she did make some bad decisions. How and ever, I don't think that excuses him. And I think what you're doing, Coco, is excusing him for his bad behavior. Oh, no, 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 no. No, I'm not excusing him because I, too, have made bad decisions in my life. I, I, I have. But there's no way somebody going to keep telling me that they're going to do this for me, do this for me, do this for me, and it never happens. And no way somebody just going to turn a phone around and and flash it to me, and I'm going to say, okay, I believe that that's the money in your account. And maybe maybe my brain just works differently than hers. No, I agree with that. I need you to Yeah, so she she made a lot. A lot of this stuff was because she's materialistic. She That first conversation where they sat outside of – um. Chick-fil-A, not Chick-fil-A, Cheesecake Factory, could have, should have been Chick-fil-A, but anyway, uh, Cheesecake Factory, she told him everything he needed to know about her, and he used it against her. Two weeks in, and the pandemic hit, so now you feel like y'all got to live together? No, you go quarantine at your place, I'm a quarantine at my place. But she thought this guy was a VP, she thought he had all these, uh, all this money, and she thought she had hit the jackpot girl back because if you had she never was thinking from the beginning so is that what this is about yes yes it turns girl, out he was broke my, in a forklift and now everybody listening okay right see that's fine be watching this Okay, so she did fall for the okie doke, yes, 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 yes. But I hate how so many, like I just saw some video today, and they like, oh, now you lying and all this other stuff. No, she was a desperate woman. She fucked up, and she told her story to be transparent. I don't think that she told the story right. thinking, I'm going to go viral for this. Oh, okay. I mean, I like I said, I, I like I just feel like people, you know, they're gonna all use the internet in the way that they're gonna use it, and the internet mm-hmm. is gonna internet. You know what I'm the saying? The internet However, is gonna internet. Yes. You know what I mean? So I'm just saying the like everybody can make a thousand zillion TikToks, but everybody's not gonna get the view on a thousand zillion TikToks. So if this TikTok was pushed to the forefront because of the you know, I guess drama of it. It's so good mm-hmm. for TikTok of how long it is. If y'all said it take eight hours, baby, heavens no. But yeah. I'm just saying that's just good for the TikTok brand. So it's again oh, yeah. like that's it. I don't know. I counted it as an yeah. audio book and it goes toward my reading goal. Goals it's on good read. Stop playing with me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It is and, crazy. Wait, and Audible has offered her and told her they want to hear more of her stories. Yeah, girl, because maybe I she better get deals. Mm-hmm. Flew that and deals, but I do think I, I do feel sorry. I, I feel bad that she felt so desperate. That's the word I'm looking for. I guess I didn't. I don't look at it as mater, the materialistic side of it because I think I don't think nobody want to be with somebody who broke. No, but you know what? She probably yeah, how many nice guys? Really how many nice guys she didn't pass up? Who were who who 
who said that they were forklift drivers. And then she's like, uh, 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 I don't want, and I'm not going to deal with that. And then you wind up with one anyway that made a damn fool of you. That's what annoys me with that. I feel like you cannot, I mean, this is just me. I always have kind of unpopular opinions, but like, you know, don't be mad at the at the girl who doesn't want that uh, forklift driver. Don't be mad at her. But also, girl who doesn't want the forklift driver, don't be a complainer about nothing when you are obviously not looking with your heart because you so you don't care what that's what, what I'm you know what saying. It could be yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. with the coldest hearts, with the biggest hearts, but you'll never know because you want the man that, that makes stands a month. And he don't he might not. You know what I'm saying? He said he ain't gonna love you like that forklift driver. He ain't gonna like your cornbread like him. I'm just nah, saying. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. She's like, Oh, he was paying all my bills. So well, girl, your rent was under a thousand dollars. Okay. It wasn't like mm-hmm. her rent was really but whatever. <laughs> I mean, it was it was it was interesting to listen to. It was interesting to listen to, and I think the most interesting part is how much of a liar he was. How many people have come out to confirm that he was such a liar? How many yeah. people have come out to say that they lied to him? That he lied to them too? I know, okay. and honestly, he is cracking me up on TikTok because he is really something is really wrong with this guy. Something he is really, really believes that he. Yeah. Yeah, he said he was at Netflix. He gonna get off the internet for now, but y'all will see his real story on Netflix. In the Stoner oh. Girl video. <laughs> yeah. Nicole, yeah. I promise you, the man is nuts. He is nuts. I mean, but the signs yeah. were there. Right. And and you know, I just feel like if. I mean, I, like I said, I didn't watch it, so I can't say, you know, whatever's whatever. But it just sounds like a lot of just like long. I'm, I'm, I'm not a. I don't like this drama. I don't know. I want like if I'm watching drama, I want me to be confused, like a suspense, like I'm trying to figure it out. But I just don't want to like dry drama. Personally. No, it was it was a mystery because we didn't. You, you're like what? Not it was, <laughs> who is he talking to? Like thirty minutes. Who? Who is he talking to? So when you finally figure out that this nigga is talking to himself. Oh no. Yeah. That was the best part. I was just like, oh my god. First of all, okay, and then I'm gonna be done with it. If you put your phone up to your ear and you talking for that long and you ain't putting on speakerphone one time because you tired of holding the phone, I'm gonna question you. Cause your okay, so hurt. you see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Your elbow don't so hurt. The signs were there. The signs were there. And he didn't got three of them fools to marry him. I ain't mad at him. He ain't the problem. That's, I, I that's, my, uh, that's my unpopular That's my unpopular opinion. Yeah. Don't yeah, hate yeah. the players. You always have an unpopular hate opinion. I'm not surprised. Yeah, I do. <laughs> but it's like, why you? why are we hating on him? You a person can only do what you allow them to. I'm sorry. Because it's I'm gonna hate on him for taking advantage. That's crazy. If somebody but he did he paid her bills. <laughs> Eight TikTok hours. <laughs> that's a lot, <laughs> oh, It was a lot. And that's what I spent all last Saturday Sunday, that's what I did. Eleven to eight to seven o'clock. I didn't realize yeah, it was eight hours. Mm mm, baby. Yeah, that's that was um, it was it was good. It was, I promise it was entertaining. It was it was this book it almost had me like with my Freedom Max Adden books. Um, I was excited about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we pieces got a place in my little journal for the week. Okay. But, um, my book journal. Somebody gonna make a Reese Teesa sticker soon. Yeah, somebody should already have that. Oh, speaking of stickers. There are lots of announcements to make for planner shops. So let me get on these. Do we have plan? You said no for the cruise in Mayhem, nine month cruise Mayhem. Yeah, I ain't even seen them this week, really. Can I just put it down because I love it? Huh? 
I said, can I just play the sound because I love it? Yeah, let's do it because it makes me laugh. Go ahead, let's do it. <laughs> Guys, this week we have nothing on the nine month cruise. I keep trying to tell y'all these Easter egg, these um, um, oh, okay. Um, I'll read that in a second, Bianca. Um, we don't have an update okay. for the cruise mayhem, uh, because we've been sucked in Teresa Tisa Land. Um, we'll be back to our regularly scheduled program next Saturday. I mean, next Sunday. I would like to announce a couple of things. Um, planning Memory Social. Um, planning Memory. Their tickets go on sale. Do they go on sale tomorrow? The 26th. Yes. Tickets go on sale tomorrow, so be sure to get them. Um, Donuts for Planners, which is Love and Light Charms, their event is also in August. I think their tickets go on sale March the 11th, so don't forget. This weekend, there is a Swifty for you Swifters, Taylor Swifters, Swifty. Um, mm-hmm. There is a sale at Frolicking Brains and Season Inc., and three Easter eggs that you can use, which um, Easter eggs are like just notes in the comments. I've said them. Uh, I, I said all of them, but one. Um, for the show, I mean, for a freebie. There you go. Sorry. If you like to get an extra freebie in the notes, you can type in Planner Guru. You can type in Cruising, or you can type in Real Talk. Again, those are Planner Guru, Cruising, and Real Talk, or Real Plans, you know. Um, and you will get three different die cuts and three washi strips in addition to um, all that stuff. I mean, the collections over there are really cute, really deep blues, soft blues. And if you are a Swifty, Taylor Swift, or you plan on going to a concert soon, um, you can check that out. Also, in the Scrap Craftastic Facebook group, if you are excited about Beyonce and her country, country twang thing, there is a um, freebie dashboard in there that has like a cute girl and a cowboy hat that might commemorate the song if you like it. Um, I don't think there's any more announcements. Do you have any more announcements? Nicole, do you have any announcements? No. I did have one more question for you. Yes. How did you get involved with the Go Getter Girl? I meant to ask you that so you can say your code and stuff. Yes. So my code is G G Nick N I C one zero G G Nick one zero for ten percent off at Go Getter Girl, and. So I got involved with Rach, who is the owner, um, actually from my coffee page because whenever she first, well, how I found her, she was making, like, salads because she was into fitness. She was, like, a fitness trainer or a coach, and then she transitioned to start making this Go-Getter Girl planner. So I started following her before then, And then I just kind of, you know, stayed on the journey with her because she started uh, talking about planners. But I was looking for, you know, better ways to make salads or whatever. And that's how I found her because she was doing fitness planning at the time. Um, Mm. And so, yeah, it was amazing. So I always talk to her. We just kind of, our personalities clicked because we're both really bubbly. So I guess that just kind of went together. And then we both liked planning. So that was lit when she started making a planner. And then her planner, like, became her planner. Like, it's so good. Like, I use it as my daily planner. And I really, really like it. Like, I, I mentioned in earlier that I started using Day Designer. Um, that was, like, the first planner that I really, like, loved in, the, in my planner journey was a day, the Day Designer Daily. Um, and I had the actual, like, the spiral-bound planner. But now I've transitioned into a Go-Getter Girl Daily. And I really love it. It's only six months. Um, and I love 
great, like, as a as an individual. She's very motivating. So I really was excited when she started making the planner. And then as it went through the prototypes, because at first she only had spiral bound. And throughout my planner journey, I just grew out of spiral. So I don't, I'm not a spiral planner. I always mess up the coil or bend it or do something. So I guess I'm just too rough. So it doesn't work for me. So right. that was how planner was in the beginning, so I never used it. But when she started with book now, and I was like, okay, let me see what she got going up. So then I started using it, and I really liked it. So I just, you know, kind of stayed with the system. And, yeah, so then um, one day she was, she just asked me, like, are you on my team? I think you should be on my team. And I was like, yeah, sure, I'll be on your team. Because I was just promoting her because she's dope, like not because of nothing. So then, um, yeah, then I became a part of the team um, earlier, or sorry, towards the end of last year. So I was really excited to get that offer um, indirectly from, you know, her. That was lit. And so, yeah, I just, I really liked her brand and I liked her as a person before she started it. And um, I'm just so happy for how she took off because she just stayed consistent with her. She put her blinders on. And she just went for what she wanted. And she kept getting better. Like, each planner keeps getting better. And that's just dope to see. You know what I'm saying? So, I, I rock with Rach. Um, yeah, I know um, Curvy African Planner is also on her team. And she stand her products. Um, she actually, uh, my planner baby yes, mama helped. Curvy African Planner Planner be so cute. Oh, my yes, God. Yes, it do. It be so um, cute. My planner baby mama talked me into buying the disc bound one when it first came out with the scalloped edges and I love it but I don't use classic size anymore. So I've been thinking about getting um, you know, a book bound one and I'm like, I don't need another planner for right now. But I, I look at them and I look at that bag, that Peyton bag all the time and I'm like, Oh, it's so cute, it's so cute. Yeah. Is. Yeah, I have a Harper um, laptop bag, which I no, 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 or maybe no, it's Harper. Is it Harper? Okay. Harper is the bigger one. Peyton is a smaller one. So I'm definitely have a sinking funds for my um <laughs> for a <Harper>. <laughs> <laughs> I mean for uh, for a Peyton because I have a Harper, but I just need to you know what I'm saying do it on my own accord. So I'm working on that. Hopefully, I'll have it by the spring because I definitely and... want the camera. Yeah. Um, Penny Pincher Planner says that she is a part of Go Get a Girl also because she loves also loves Rachel. Bianca says that she needs an A5 version of either the disc or unpunched. I know that's right. That's what I would love. A, a A5 version of that planner. Of the Go Getter she had? Well, so her book bound planners are A5. The ones that don't have the scallops, they are A5 size, but obviously she just has those, the book bound, the scallops, and then the disc. So, uh, okay. but if you're just looking for A5, then you could just get the book bound because those are all A5 size. But okay. if you're looking for the loose leaf, she does have, if you go on the website, um, a uh, um printable so that you can try it out, try out the layout, and she also has a digital version. So if you just want to buy the digital version, like for your iPad or something like that, um, you could definitely do that. But quality is, like, really, really good, so that's why, too, I love the planner because you don't have to deal with bleed-through, and it's, like, just, just, like, right to the point. It's not, like, a lot of stuff in between it, you know? So I like it. Works out for me. Um, yeah, I mean, everybody who uses it loves it. Um, so, yeah. So, uh, thank you so much, Nicole, the planner guru, for tuning in and coming and talk with us about your planning routine and all your coffee and just being so mindful and such a positive influence on the planner community. Um, I really appreciate you so much. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for having me. This was so fun. I was, like, kind of nervous, but this was, like, very homegirl vibes, and I really appreciate that. I told you it was going to be like talking to your new best friends on the phone. Yes, I was like, okay, okay. Real best friends. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? 
real. Real. So I love it. All right, you guys. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to go to Frolicking Brains um, and Season Inc. Check out those sales. Be sure to use, um, what did I say? Be sure to use Planner Guru, Cruising, and Real Talk or Real Plans um, so that you can get an extra freebie. Go buy your ticket for planning at Planner Memory Social at Hogwarts. Also, be on the lookout for the ticket. Yay, that yep, shout out to D. Um, and be sure to um, be on the lookout for Donuts for Planners. Those tickets are going on sale soon. And the uh, planning event, which is March 9th at some mall that they still haven't told me, but I'm sure I'll find out before then. Um, they'll it's go the into. mall where we usually go. I yeah. don't know what it is. What mall? I ain't never the been. The one where we went for the thing at Christmas. Remember when we went to the Christmas, the holiday thing, the hot chocolate? Oh, that was the sweater. Yeah, the right next door to that, to your right, would be the mall's full court. Oh, okay. Well, y'all yeah, see, when you don't drive, you don't know. Because <laughs> I was in the video. <laughs> <laughs> um, also, if you go shop at, <laughs> if you shop at Frolic and Brains, you'll get my freebie too. And my freebie is cute. It got books and shit. All right, you guys, remember to keep it messy. And never malicious. Ew. Ew. Bye. <laughs> Bye. 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 Hey.